In today's job market, things can actually seem like a rat race. All over the internet, social media, newspapers, if anyone still reads those, doesn't matter where you look, it seems like everyone in tech is making six figures. But one thing that I've recognized over the last few years from all the advertisements that I've seen and heard is the lost value of actually starting in a help desk or a support position. And so that's what I'm gonna discuss today. Some people unfortunately look down upon a help desk position, a knock analyst or a sock analyst, but those are actually some of the most prestigious positions. But it's these type of positions that actually have many, many hidden gems that are rarely, rarely discussed. For those breaking into tech, quite often you may find yourself unsure of what path to take. You see so many things plastered around about programming languages and becoming a coder, boot camps, um, automation, cybersecurity. But did you know that starting in a help desk position actually would give you the time to not only see what you like, but to also gain experience on different disciplines. Because at a help desk, tickets typically come in quick in a hurry and they get arranged in a queue and sometimes randomly assigned to an analyst. So one day you may be working on a ticket that is about a user that can't connect to a printer that's on the other side of the campus. The fix may be something involving a print driver. Perhaps the printer's placed on the wrong VLAN and just like computers, have you restarted the printer? You'd be surprised at how many times that actually fixes it for whatever reason. And later on that very same day, you may get a ticket that someone plugged in a USB device to a computer, which again, is against company policies. So now you actually are part of a team that has to go confiscate the computer along with the device and ensure that nothing spread across the network. If you were to take a look at that help desk analyst day, then the different things that they were doing at 11 a.m. vice 3 p.m. vices maybe having an end of the day session to discuss the number of tickets that are still open with the rest of the team. Now, if you multiply that by being in such a position for say three to six months, then imagine the sheer amount of not only different types of issues and possible remedies to solutions that that help desk analysts solve, but also the knowledge gained by actively participating in, or even passively, by just sitting around in a team of five to six analysts and then listening or bouncing ideas off of others. Being in such a position would offer someone so many opportunities to gain not only technical, but also communication and interpersonal skills that we're gonna get right into. So you may ask, what do I mean by interpersonal or communication skills? So if you work on site in a help desk position where people can physically come in and drop laptops off that need to be reimaged or inquire about um, the latest policies that have been pushed by the network team, then you actually get to interact with customers. Even if it was remote, such an analyst would have the opportunity to do so over the phone or a collaboration application such as Teams. But it's through that constant dialogue back and forth that not only do you get to sharpen your skills of being able to listen and engage with different users, but to also write different reports, not only in whatever ticketing system is used by the organizations, but sometimes you may need to do a PowerPoint presentation or Word document to convey different information to your management team or sometimes special one-offs uh, that may go even higher. So these type of skills are built in such a position and they're gonna help carry such analysts throughout their career, whether they stay on help desk for an entire career or choose to go to a security network or an automation team type environment or even cloud. You know, These are those soft and intangible skills that carry over to any type of a discipline. Help desk positions typically have different types of processes and procedures that, that they must follow to ensure that each of those analysts is not only working as an individual, but actually as a cohesive unit to make sure that the mission is completed successfully. 
So there's going to be different types of documents such as standard operating procedures or SOPs that outline if, you know, situation A is encountered, then this is our runbook or playbook for actually executing or resolving this issue. And you may have service level agreements, you know, um, if the internet goes down, then we have these two different providers, um, our active, our primary provider and our secondary or passive. But if it's down longer than X amount of time, then we need to do step B. And then on the back end, management may actually get to recoup some of some of those mo money or funding, depending on if the ISP was not within the the parameters or metrics of the uptime that they that they ensure. So 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 many things that like that that also can carry over um, to whatever skill that that analyst went to. And more senior positions, such as a senior network engineer or a cloud solutions architect, if such a resource was brought onto a project, then not only are they expected to kind of start contributing almost immediately, maybe they get a week or two to kind of get onboarded, but if they don't really show that they're, you know, a valuable uh, resource for the team after a month or two, then management may look at them as not being a fit. In a help desk position, typically you have so much more time to grow because the gamut of things that are expected are kind of far and wide. And so if a person is maybe not showing uh, the type of growth on this one area, that resource typically isn't let go. They're just placed on a different thing. So if you're if you come on and you start re-imaging computers and things like that, and maybe either through observation or one-on-one -on -one meetings with the management, you kind of find that that's not a good fit for you, then the opportunity may be to go kind of work on the team that actually goes out and handles tickets for maybe the call center portion. So typically there's more flexibility and more room to grow, not only from you know the employee themselves, but also from the perspective of the management team there. So, But that's also another nugget for working on the help desk. And one thing that may not be known by those that aren't in IT is that very often there's so many organizations that publicly, not, not like in a newspaper, but um, through interviews or just through informally the way that they speak, um, especially to the customer, they don't present the fact that they have a siloed environment. And what I mean by that is that they may plan to do these three things for the IT uh, program, you know, to benefit everybody, stakeholders involved this year. But behind the scenes, the the network engineer may never know who's on the systems administrator team or the database administrator may never know who the security engineer is if they never have to email them or things like that because each of those departments or sections Although there's a hierarchy, management, support team, or lead team, support team, et cetera, et cetera, and all those teams work up to, of course, the director, the team members themselves feel like all we see, all we do is kind of this work right here. But very often working on a help desk because those support calls and tickets that are submitted, you know, through whatever application um, via the web is put there, they get to see different issues that are happening across those different departments. So even in a silo type organization, starting off at a help desk type position will allow you to not only see those different things that, you know, are uh, that the organization or and the IT departments facing, but to also pick up a phone or correspond with emails from these different points. And that's a lot of times where people get pulled up really is if this security person knows that they can go to, you know, Marcus or Susan and always, you know, get professional responses, um, get things in a timely order and and they just love working with that person. Then when a, a position comes open on the security team, then they may actually, you know, coach that person on, you know, you need to sharpen up on this, this and this if this is what you want to do. So there's so, so many different gems and things that, you know, I think have been lost really over the last few years, really to show the value of how working in a help desk or call center or knock analyst, just, you know, different titles for different types of environments 
um, can actually contribute not only to the employee that's sitting in one of those positions, but really benefit the organization overall. And I think we got to get back to um, really showing the value in that and not just trying to pitch these more intermediate or um, upper tier events positions and and let people think that all there is is a solutions architect, cloud engineer, network engineer, like, but very rarely do I see it kind of discussed. But today, like I said, I just want to spend just a few minutes to really discuss some of the valuable things that I think starting out at a help desk or a analyst position will afford someone early on in their career. But there's so, so much opportunity and room for growth that when one looks back on their career, I think they will actually appreciate and value being able to start in such a position because of the insights that one gains. But I want to thank each and every one of you again for rocking in here with me today. I know this is kind of not the normal video that I do, but again, just found it on my heart to really just, but I just wanted to put this kind of knowledge out there. And if you found value in this video, then please feel free to drop a comment down below. Would love to hear from you. And again, until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Peace.